Okay. Uh, then uh, Arkansas versus, uh, excuse me, Arkansas Attorney General opinion. This is the Attorney General opinion that's listed here. In an opinion addre addressed to the Arkansas Board of Examiners in Psychology, the State Attorney General stated it, it is his view that a party involved in a court ordered custody evaluation is a patient of the evaluator under the uh, uh, records, you know, Confidential Medical Information Records Act, and as such is entitled to obtain access personally or by, uh, by and through his or her attorney to information in his or her medical records. If you read the rationale of the Attorney General in that, in that letter, in that official opinion, uh, it, would trans it would transfer easily to a police applicant, reaching the same decision with a police applicant. And other courts have held that persons compelled to submit to independent medical evaluations are patients under the law, uh, um, and I include a, a couple of, of those. That includes Simmons versus Rehab Excel and Crandall versus Michon. Those will all be included in the materials. They are all included in the material that you have. Well, they're cited. They're cited, yes. And then uh, there are civil service procedures that also may provide uh, an applicant with access. And that includes Kremer versus City of uh, Macon Board of Fire and Police Commissioners, uh, where the court held that the Civil Service Commission must release the results of the pre-employment psychological evaluation to the firefighter applicant, because under Illinois' Administrative Review Act, provides that the commission must file an answer to the plaintiff's complaint, which consists of the, quote, entire record of proceedings. And they went on to say, since the results of the plaintiff's examination were part of the evidence before the board, we hold that those results must be provided to the plaintiff as part of the board's answer. Now, listen to how Oregon, uh, House Bill 2305, um, what it says about access to patient records. It is the policy of the state of Oregon that an individual has the right to access and review protected health information of the individual or PHII. PHII is defined under Oregon statute as, quote, any oral or written health information in any form or medium that is, A, created or received by a health care provider, which is defined as including a licensed psychologist, and B, quote, relates to the past, present, or future physical or mental health or condition of an individual, unquote. In my view, he's going to have at pretty easy access. Yes, Mike. So in a bifurcated model, they wouldn't have access to part one, but they would have part two. I would think that would be true. In a bifurcated model, they're going to be limited to the post offer, I would think. But we'll see. Now, that hasn't been tested yet, and, and, I, and I'm going to continue to be, a, 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 you know, to, to, to march the party line when, when I get a call from the applicant that says, I want my records. I'll say, you've read the disclosure form. I'm not going to give you access. That's a matter to be determined by the employer. Uh, you've agreed to that. You've waived access to it. Get out of my face. That's the party line. But I don't think it's going to hold. I, I, I think the wall will crumble under a, uh, an appeal to the court. 